Sloths are weird creatures. They are quite shaggy. They have nice hair. They have ridiculously long claws, which could swipe your face off if they wanted to. They're not as cuddly as what people think. They do their own thing. Six-year-old Tina is a two-toed sloth. Tina is a really feisty girl. She has a reputation for being a little bit more n not aggressive. Well, maybe aggressive. I think she's a typical sloth woman. <laughs> quite bossy, quite pushy, throws her weight around a little bit. Sloths spend 15 hours of the day sleeping. They are so sedentary that in their natural rainforest habitat of Central and South America, moths make a permanent home in their fur. Tina has lived here for four years, and it's now time to think about starting a family. She's never had offspring of her own. She doesn't know what it's all about. Um, hopefully instincts will kick in. There are high hopes for a love match between her and her new suitor. Rico! 17-year-old Rico from the East Midlands. Hey, buddy. I think Rico has many attractive qualities. I think he's beautiful in his own way. But if I were a female sloth, <laughs> he wouldn't be my taste. Tina's magnificent. Tina's like the Marilyn Monroe of sloth. She's absolutely stunning. And then Rico comes along and he's kind of got his funny little claws and his funny little face. And he's just like, oh, hello, quite like you. But Tina hasn't fallen for his charms yet. It's a bit unrequited attention. I think Rico's going to have to work very hard to seduce Tina. We'll have to give it some time and, and see if his persistence pays off. In the sloth house, love-struck Rico has yet to win the affections of Tina, the Marilyn Monroe of the sloth world. Rico! Rico, come on! Rico's like the girl's best friend that you never think of getting the girl, and I just really hope he does. Hello, buddy. You all right? Now keeper Sam is trying a new approach to get Tina to notice Rico. Good boy. Come on. She's training them to come to her. It means she can carry out health checks. Good boy. But if Sam can get them both to come down at once, they'll spend more time together. So we've just got to try and give them the best possible environment that we can. So it's a little bit like setting a room up with candles and Barry White, but instead of candles and Barry White, you've got nice enrichment feeders. Rico, touch. Oh, you're a smart man, you are. What he lacks in brawn, he makes up for in brain. We would like her to potentially do the same thing that Rico does and follow the target around. Good boy. The hope is that Tina will be less standoffish with Rico. Tina, target. But she's still not emerging from her own private box. Either she's smarter than us, and she knows eventually she's going to get food no matter what happens. So she's just going to sit there and look at us and wait for us to feed her like a queen. Tina. My hope for their relationship is that she sees the light and that she sees that what he's trying to do is, is for the good of both of them and that we end up with sloth offspring. <laughs> <laughs>